year one uh, was a, an idea. We uh, was driving on the highway, and uh, just the thought came of the, the NHL Outdoor Winter Classic of what they what they do at the NHL level, and and I came up with some ideas. Thought we could do this outside in Red Deer, and made some phone calls to some friends, and and got them to sponsor. And and in the early days, we had old oil filled office trailers we brought in, and and they were just a hodgepodge, kind of like a little shanty town, different sizes and different buildings. Some on wheels, some skidded, and. And uh, as dressing rooms and players' benches were cattle shelters, and since then we've uh, evolved into owning our own dressing rooms uh, uh, and and penalty boxes, and and it's gone from there. It's for that group of kids who haven't played at the at the elite level. There isn't a um, uh, the, you know the buses typically. There isn't the second set of jerseys a lot of times. So this was an event that I wanted to to, uh, to build for these guys to when they play for their 15, 16, 17 years, and then something to talk about into their that are adulthood in their 40s and say, hey, well, I was in Red Deer, you should have seen the tournament we went to. In the past, we've had the, uh, the 1920s NHL, we had the defunct NHL teams, we had the 1967 expansion, uh, we did a different era too but through the 1940s NHL, and uh, this is the second time we've done the WHA, the World Hockey Association, and this year the, the era is from 1972 to 1979. And uh, we've got the New York Golden Blades, a kind of a one-shot wonder, uh, the Vancouver Blazers, the Baltimore Blades, really interesting teams and jerseys. Bernie Papp, he was a, a larger-than-life gentleman, a good friend who was involved in the investment community in Red Deer. And Bernie was a longtime minor hockey supporter, too. He coached, uh, coached in our system uh, many years ago. And it was funny because I played a little bit of hockey with Bernie in the, on Wednesday afternoons. And, and the one year I was out on the ice doing the... the um, the uh, skills competition and all of a sudden I just this big bellering voice yelling at me simmer simmer come over here and so I walked over and or skated over and and Bernie was there and he, he just couldn't believe what we had done he'd heard about it but never seen it and he just said I'm writing you a check right now what do you need and then ever since then he always supported us immensely with a donation and believed in the cause and unfortunately Bernie passed away this summer and and uh, we want to do something in memory of Bernie so every jersey has uh, his famous all in and every, whenever you ask Bernie he said, I'm all in and uh, so in memory of Bernie Papp and the words all in are in the collar of every jersey. Bauer Community Center on Boyce Street. Uh, it starts Friday night at 5 o'clock, our first game is weather dependent. Uh, we're a little concerned with the heat that we might get this weekend. But uh, in any event we've had in the past, we've had up to plus 10 temperatures during the day. Uh, we delay the games a little bit, but we'll get it in this weekend no matter what. Uh, outdoor, outdoor ice, uh, hit hockey. On the old wood boards, uh, games at night too, under the lights, uh, live band, fire pit. Uh, we had our uh, famous Jeffy Burgers. Jeff Roberts is the barbecue guy on the on the grill, and and he's barbecuing that all weekend. And then in the morning too, we got to the bacon and eggers, so we can feed you and keep you filled up with hot chocolate and Powerades and watch some hockey.